Hi again, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm and I'm out in the yard with my loppers pruning off stray stems of roses and damaged stems from shrubs and inevitably this time of year and pretty much year round I end up with carts like this full of uh, branch debris that I need to get rid of but I've never had a good solution for and you know this is my hopeful solution this is a chipper that I picked up off of Amazon uh, but if you recall in my previous videos I basically would have left it in a big pile to look ugly in the yard for a long time become self-conscious about it and eventually burn it that's not what I want to do anymore I would feel a lot better if I had something that I could deal with it straight away so this isn't a review video proper I'm going to save that for my review channel I'll put this on it and I'll give you an in-depth and close-up review of the product itself this is more of a practical question of whether using uh, a home electric chipper like this can match up to most of my yard debris reduce it down to a satisfactory volume and that solves my problem so let me get right to it I'm gonna fire this up and uh, and see what it does these are the branches I'm going to be taking care of if I don't find any more around the yard and this is the machine on a close-up you just press the green button here it comes with a paddle like this that helps you to push the material in so you aren't trying to stuff your hands in there All right, all finished and having a look at the final result here, it is rather chunky. There's big uh, recognizable twigs and chunks of wood in here. Uh, not bad though, I have to say, in a rustic property like mine, I would have no problem using these on one of those pathways as a mulch in a different bed or adding it to a compost system as the brown component of the greens and the browns to balance out those higher nitrogen yard wastes or kitchen scraps. The other thing I wanted to talk about really quickly here is how the machine worked. I'm not going into a detailed review of this in this video, I'll do that on my separate channel, but there are some general things I can say is that the electric chipper had no problem dealing with the waste for the most part. Uh, the thicker parts it had an easier time getting through actually. It was the little thin ones that were hard to get it to feed through the machine. I had to bundle those together to shove them through. Uh, the other thing I did wrong was this waste uh, chute at the base uh, filled up a little bit because I let it pile up under Underneath and then it backed up into the machine and, just, and I had to stop it one time to clear that. It wasn't a big deal uh, but you have to keep an eye that it does actually put out a fair amount of waste fairly quickly so eventually I got to just kicking it out of the way as I went. Uh, the reduction in the terms of the waste, well obviously I had that whole big cart back there full of branches and it's turned it into this and I'll give you a close-up of, of this pile and you'll see the volume and whether you can handle that. As to pros and cons between this and say burning and I know some people are critical of the burning thing I have to say it's part of rural life so I've I've gotten used to it if I had burned I would have taken the ash I would have spread it around the yard I would have had little charcoal bits in it and it also would have released some fertilizer to the plants however it wouldn't have had the advantage of acting as a mulch maintaining moisture in the soil it wouldn't have had the advantage of breaking down over a longer period of time using bacteria and fungi and soil life and thus adding to the life and the health of the soil and the organic matter long term so there's definitely a trade-off there uh, so that's all I wanted to talk about today is just to really give you a good idea of I mean certainly for me I had to get rid of the eyesore in the property so this looks like a good solution to that it looks like I can use it for a good portion of the yard waste unless it's you know thicker than will fit into the top of the machine and for those I'll still have to have a different solution uh, for those maybe that maybe those will be a burn actually uh, but for the smaller material and being able to take most of what I do around the yard and turn it into this that I can just add to a pathway or as a mulch I think it's a win all right thanks so much for watching if you have any questions or comments particularly about this please drop those down below the video I'll see what I can do to help